This is Jian Wang, and I'm going to introduce our paper, Detectification Alignment of Multimodal Sequences by Aligning Gradient Updates and Internal Feature Distributions. This is joint work with Bo Yang Li, Xiang Yufan, Jing Yun, and Yan Weifu. We tackle the problem of video and text sequence alignment. On the left, we have some video clips. On the right, we have some textual descriptions. The goal is to match the texts with the videos, but some of them may not match anything. We adopt an end-to-end -end differentiable network architecture called New Match. It consists of four stacks. Two of them, video stack and text stack, encode the elements to be aligned. Action stack and match stack capture historical information. The basic procedure of this network is to determine if the topmost video element and the topmost text element should be matched. If not, one of them should be removed. This process repeats until one of the sequences is exhausted. For multimodal learning, pre-training on large data is usually useful. In the past, we pre-trained the video and textual sequence encoders using the large dataset LSMDC. Without the pre-training, we experienced significant performance degradation. Upon close inspection, we realized that the network components in new mesh dealing with different modalities overfit or generalize at different speeds. We proposed two techniques to cope with this issue. The first is to align the magnitudes of gradient updates so that different subnetworks learn at similar rates. The second is to align the internal feature distributions of different modalities. We use layer-wise adaptive rate scaling loss to align the pace of learning of subnetworks. Gradient descent updates the parameter with the magnitude of the gradient, while loss scales the gradient updates for different layers so that the update becomes proportional to the parameter weights. This technique was originally designed for training under extremely large batch sizes. Here, we redirect a familiar technique for a novel purpose. Next, we use sequence-wide batch normalization to align the feature distributions. SBN normalizes the tensor across the batch and the temporal dimensions. We also propose a simple but efficient regularization method, random projection which reduces the input dimensionality and the trainable parameters. Random projection alleviates the overfitting issue when the new mesh network is trained on a small dataset. Now, let's look at some experiments. Not print training on LSMDC causes a 3.5% performance drop. The combination of loss, SBN, and random projection not only closes the gap, but also surpasses the performance of pre-training by 2.5%. Namely, it improves the performance by 6% in total compared to the no pre-training. This table lists the ratio between the norm of the weights and the gradients. The higher the ratio is, the better the model is optimized. The ratio of loss is always larger than Adam. Loss always reduces the relative gap between the ratios of the text stack and the video stack. These two facts suggest that the optimization of the two modalities is better aligned with loss than without. Next, we examine the mean and the variance distributions of the features provided by the video and text stacks. Under SPN, the means are very close to zero, but the variances are much higher than the other versions. This suggests that the features are more informative and in SBN because they change more for different inputs. The three techniques, namely layer-wise adaptive rate scaling, sequence-wise batch normalization, and random projection, allow the network to beat the previous best result, which was pre-trained on multimodal data. Experiments suggest that loss helps in aligning the pace of learning in different network components. We believe this work represents a step towards data-efficient multimodal learning. We refer interested audience to more details in the paper. Thank you for listening.